Hello, everybody. Thank you so much to Jenny Cooper for joining us today, one of the stars of the worldwide number one <laughs> Netflix show right now. I don't know how in how many countries Virgin River has just rocked all the, the charts. I mean, I know. It's crazy. Thank you for having me. So nice to be here. It's a great, it's a pleasure to have you here. And tell us a bit, Jenny, what's the main element in, in Joy's character and, and the show in general that fascinates you the most and, and drew you to join Virgin River? Well, I mean, the thing that fascinates me the most now is sort of what you just said, like how international it has become, the success and the fans that are watching all over the world. It's really it's mind blowing and it really just shows you, you know, the outlet, I mean, Netflix, how much, how far and wide reaching it really is. And, and also I think how um, relatable the story is that it really doesn't matter what country you're watching from or what age you are. There's sort of something uh, relatable, I think for everyone. And that's been really amazing to see. Absolutely. And I was just talking with the other colleagues of yours, like Zibi Allen and other yeah. other actors from the show yeah. that I I myself took my grandma to watch the show and uh -huh. she loves it so much. And as you said, it's incredible how many generations can actually rely to the to the um, to the story told in the show. Yeah. And it's also one of the features that the the audience love the most, the fact that the characters are also so well layered. And yeah. Joey is one of the characters that are, I think um, very much well shaped in the show. Yeah. And is there something in, in the character that you see also in yourself? Where are you two most similar in your opinion and where are you most different? Oh, um, so I think we're similar in a lot of ways. Um, we both have three kids. We haven't met Joey's kids yet, but I also have three kids. So I know what that's like to try to juggle, you know, being a mom and having other responsibilities and other relationships and work. And, um, and I also have a long distance relationship with my sister who I'm very close to. So when I first read the scripts and there were all these scenes on the phone, even though I get a lot of feedback, that's like, we're tired of seeing you on the phone, come to Virgin river. Um, I really relate to that because you pick up the phone and that's your connector. And because you're siblings and you have so much shared history, the phone kind of fades away, you know, and you're like in the room there with each other. And so I really relate to that because that's the relationship I have with my own sister. And I love that we're able to do that. And I think that people are separated. A lot of siblings, you know, they make choices to go to school in faraway places or just, I'm going to try out this city for a while. And then they stay. And then you have this, long distance relationship with like the closest people in your life. And, um, and especially during the pandemic when people weren't able to travel. And um, I think that that phone relationship is really, it's important. You yes. Know? Yes, absolutely. And considering that the fact that your character, may, we, we see her mainly on the phone um, yeah. with Mel um, phoning to her. Uh, yeah. What's the biggest challenge? For, what's been the biggest challenge for you in portraying this character, considering yeah. this factor that Joy isn't actually physically in Virgin River while right. interacting with Mel? Yeah, I mean, look, the hardest part is obviously that she's not there. When I'm doing my end of the phone call, she's not on the phone. Um, so I'm doing it with just somebody reading the lines on set. Um, the first season, it was someone very lovely who had sort of a heavy accent and it was a little hard to understand all the words. And so <laughs> that was a challenge. Um, but, you know, Alex is such a unique presence and I have found in our scenes together that her, uh, take on the scene is always a little bit different than what I think it's going to be. And that brings the scene, this new life, because that's what I have to, uh, you know, to to work with. And she's such an exciting actor to work with. So to have to imagine what that would be, and I'm almost always wrong, <laughs> you know? Um, it, yeah. It, it, so you're playing one half of a scene when you don't really know what the other half is going to be. Um, and then somehow it sort of works. They cut it together and she always does it more in a more interesting way than what I think it's going to be. But um, it still always works. It still always cuts together um, 
in a way that's like, oh, that that does look like a conversation. <laughs> um, and we tried it one time where she called, I was home in LA and she was on set and she actually called me and we did the scene. But the timing of everything on set, you never know when a scene is going to take place. Yes. It was, of course, hours later than they said it was going to be. So I was sitting at home, like waiting for her to call. So I think it's just not realistic to think that they could do that every time. Yes, absolutely. And I, I think it's kind of a double work for you to to kind of imagine what the scene might might take place right. and, and, and something like this. Yeah. And season four, talking about season four in particular, yeah. if you had to describe season four to someone who hasn't watched it yet, yeah. like using three words, how would you describe it? Um baby daddy drama <laughs> you know i guess yes. um so that's the main storyline uh for joey finds new love um because that's sort of her arc for the for the season and someone asked me last season what i was hoping for for joey and that's sort of what i was hoping for some a new start because that's so much of what virgin river is about for every character And I felt like Joey really needed that. So that was a nice surprise to find out that she um, finds love. And they found this wonderful actor, uh, Dan Payne, to play Nate. And he was great to work with. And and I got to be in Virgin River, which I love, because then <laughs> you get to see everybody and reconnect. And yes, all and, it, and it was a pleasure for us to see you actually in Virgin River oh, to interact with all the characters. Nice. And yeah. As, as I mentioned before, season four was also a big, big season for Joey since we got to see this new side of her, a more, impul yeah. a more uh, impulsive side, uh, a side that also came out because she learned to, to, to she learned something from, from Mel to, to like give it a chance for a new start. Yeah. And that's actually worth it because in past seasons we saw a more like wise side of Joey like yeah. giving advices to Mel and more like more I don't know how yeah. to describe it but it's a different side this season yeah and how is so it that's... like for you to portray this this storyline uh it was fun it's always fun when they change the dynamic because I think that's how sisters are too and all siblings There's, you know, a time to learn and a time to teach and a time to that you need the support and the time that you give the support. And so it's really nice that they do shift that dynamic. And uh, yeah, it was fun for Joey to be impulsive and um, have Mel say, what are you doing? Because in the past <laughs> season that had been Joey saying, what are you doing? So, uh, yeah, I do think that they learn and grow from each other and And it's always interesting for me to see then where those scenes lead in, in, in subsequent episodes, because I don't necessarily know at the time that my advice to her is going to lead to her doing something, you know, down the road. So, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Yes. And is there any particular feature in Joey's growth that you like? Um, Yeah, I like that. I think she's being a lot more open and honest and that, you know, when she started four seasons ago, pretending she had this perfect life and this perfect marriage. And of course, none of that was true. Uh, you're sort of hiding a lot. And so as as an actor, you you're sort of waiting for that moment when you can really be real, especially with a sibling and say, hey, I'm I'm struggling. I'm going through something that's hard and I don't think it's going to resolve itself. And And sort of all comes crumbling down and then to get to that place of happiness again. And I, I think that's part of the appeal of the show is that every single character does that. You know, they're all yes. going through something and we are all going through something as human beings. And so I think that I think that's great. Yes. And yeah. something that the fans also loved very much about Virgin River and season four in particular is the constant love and support that Mel and Joey give one another no matter yeah. what happens. And how was it like for you to build this relationship with Alexandra? Yeah, I mean, I felt from almost our very first scene that there was some sisterhood there that just 
you know, existed between the two of us and we were able to jump right in. And part of that is being an actor and you get cast as a sister and you're like, this is my sister. I love you. (laughs) And part of it is chemistry. And there's chemistry, as you know, you know, in the romantic scenes in all the couples on the show, but then there's also chemistry, whether you're playing someone's friend or your sister or your, and if that's there, you're 90% of the way there in any given scene, because I really adore her. Uh, I have so much respect for her as a mom and an artist. And, um, and I, you know, hope that some of that is mutual. And so I think when you sit down with someone that you genuinely adore, then, then you just play the scene, the words that are there in the circumstances that you have. And, and, um, and yeah, coming back to it season after season, it does feel like it's just comfortable. It's so nice. Um, yeah. You know, I think even Alex said after one of our last scenes, like, yeah, that felt like a Mel and Joey scene, (laughs) you know, (laughs) like it just feels good to be back. So it's really nice. Yes, that's really beautiful to hear since uh, I think that the audience and people who watch the show uh, like to hear that also the cast is so you found like a family within the cast of Virgin River. Yeah, I think that's really beautiful. It's so nice. I think that is people can see that there's genuine affection that we have for one another. And I do think part of what's so special about the show is that we, you know, we film it in Vancouver and we're in this small little, you know, nook and beautiful with beautiful scenery. Um, But it feels like we're in a little bubble, you know, doing the show. And then when it comes out and, and everybody kind of goes crazy, it feels so strange almost because it's like, that's, you know, we were just in our little place doing our, doing our thing. And it's, it's, um, it's really unbelievable to see how people uh, relate to the show. Yes. And talking a little about the future, since Mm -hmm. you've just recently started filming season five. Yeah. uh, What can you tease about what's next for Joey and for the other people? So I'm being completely honest that I don't know a lot of what's next for Joey because my scenes that I'm filming for season five have been consolidated to film later in the season. Oh, okay. uh, and they, I think they've only written um, about halfway through the season anyway. Um, so, you know, the drama will continue. Um, we find out at the end of season four, you know, who the the father is. So, so, but there's always, there's a new writer on board, a new showrunner. And so there will be, you know, more twists and turns along the way, but I think we're not really allowed to say much about season five. (laughs) What are your hopes instead about what's next for Joey? (laughs) Um, I hope we get to see her kids at some point. That would be fun. Um, and yeah, I'd like to see how this relationship plays out a little bit, given that, as you said, it was pretty impulsive, even though they've known each other for some time, but I'd like to see how that develops a little and, you know, where they decide to settle down and, and all of that. Yes. And do you have any fun anecdotes from the filming of season four to, to share with us? Um, season four, I mean, you know, I tripped down a long set of stairs in that wedding dress, <laughs> so that was not fun. Um, and you know, it was just, it was really fun to be back with everybody. Um, I hadn't seen them all since the mingle episode in season one. So that was really fun. And they were teasing some behind the scenes stuff, but they didn't want to say who the bride was. So I kept having to move out of the way. So that they could film everybody else and be like, hey, we're here doing season four, but you don't get to know who's getting married yet. Yeah. And then, of course, I was worried people would be disappointed because they're waiting for like the big wedding. (laughs) Um, But this is like, oh, Joey's getting married. Oh, well. (laughs) No, it was it was also a a great event as well, even though even though the bride wasn't what the the fans expected. That's right. We're watching the season. Good. Well, I'm glad people still enjoyed it. (laughs) Yes. And. A fun question that we always ask to the people we're interviewing and considering we're talking about Virgin River, it's on the Virgin River universe. Yeah. If you could choose any other character apart from Joey that you would have loved to play on Virgin River, (laughs) which one would it be? (laughs) Oh my gosh. Um, But I think all the actors do such an amazing role of playing the parts that they play that I honestly cannot imagine anyone else playing them. So, yes. Um, Throwing back instead to the origins of your career as an actor, um, how did the passion for acting come about in your life? 
Oh, so young doing camp plays and musicals and uh, not really realizing it was my life passion yet, but just that I really loved it. I really felt at home. Um, and then I think as I got older, um, I started doing different theater programs here and there. And I did a program uh, at Northwestern University one summer after I think it was 10th or 11th grade. And it was just a feeling the first time I had been surrounded by like-minded people and artists and, you know, it was all actors and dancers. And I just had a real feeling of being home um, and uh, a real love for it. And I think that there's something in the connecting with other actors during uh, scenes or plays or just working on something in a class that it just feels um, it's unlike any other feeling. And, um, and when you create sort of something that feels real and yet, you know, it's not, it's fiction yeah. and it just lives in that moment. There's something really special about it. And I think that I just, uh, knew sort of from that summer that I was going to pursue it and, and see what happened. Yes. And among all the other roles you played, Uh, apart from Joey on Virgin River, is there any particular role that you're most fond of? There's so many. Um, I've been doing this for a while now. Uh, and I do find sometimes a role ends and you want to just go back to it. And it's funny, the one that keeps coming up for me, I did a mini series called The Feast of All Saints many years ago as a young, young actress, um, but it was a period piece, took place in the 1800s. And it was a tremendous cast, like Peter Gallagher and Gloria Rubin and Forrest Whitaker and on and on and on, because it was ensemble, all these different stories. And it just, uh, it, it was really amazing to work on something from such a different time period, um, the 1800s in New Orleans and the costumes and the everything was just, I wanted it to last forever. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, I do think of that part often, um, but yeah, they're all special and they all sort of live in me still. Yes, I can imagine that. And yeah. if you had to give some advice to to people among our readers that want to pursue an acting career, what kind of advice would you give them? I think just to keep an eye on the long game, that it's not any one audition or any one, you know, moment in time that that is going to make a career it's it's you know sticking with it working hard at your craft i think there's so much out there with social media now that everybody wants immediate gratification and i think if you want to be an actor or a writer or a producer or anything in this uh, kind of vicinity and and career that you have to have patience um, and a support system and not take anything too personally because there are so many things that go into this, these decisions. It's such a puzzle to put a film or a TV yes. show together and so many things involved. So when you go out there and you audition and you put your best foot forward, just go on with the rest of your day, <laughs> you know, and, and your time will come and your roles will come. Yes, absolutely. That's really a beautiful answer. And I think that many people will, will appreciate it. And, take it uh, as useful as possible for, for their careers and, and such. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's all great. for us. <laughs> that's okay. all for us. Thank, thank you so much. much to, thank you so much, Joy, for, for joining us. It's been a pleasure. And I hope you had a great time with us. I had a great time. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, to us as well. To Have a good day. Bye, you too. Bye. Take care.